Yo, what is going on everybody? Shri Kanasa here. So 100K conversion rate optimization hacks for your Shopify or just e-commerce store in general. Now there's a lot of videos on my channel going over Google ad strategies, Facebook ad strategies, even SEO strategies. But one thing that I personally believe is one of the most important things and also one of the most overlooked things is conversion rate optimization. Because let's face it, who really wants to spend a lot of money to make money back? Personally, I would rather not spend as much money and make tons of money back and that is exactly why conversion rate optimization is so important especially in 2020 and onwards as of right now times are very unpredictable nobody knows really where things are going especially with drop shipping and e-commerce due to the specific delays that are constantly becoming a part of life when it comes to drop shipping and when i'm recording this video which is in late june things really aren't that good when it comes to aliexpress and delivery times are just through the roof so because of this it's really important for us to keep our ad spend low and keep those unnecessary costs low while improving our conversion rate because in the end you will end up getting more sales while spending little money so that you can save that money in case you have to deal with disputes or chargebacks which can become common right now because of what's going on in the world but without wasting any more time let's just jump right into the specific hacks that i have for you guys so the first hack that you will have to do in order to really find success with any of these hacks is to smash that like button down below just kidding but hopefully you do do that hack anyways i'll really appreciate that okay hopefully you have done that but before we actually Actually start talking about the specific hacks I have laid out it's actually important to understand what conversion rates are even impacted by in the first place because a lot of people have this misconception about conversion rates and they go after the wrong things and do the wrong changes on their websites or ads hoping that that improves the conversion rates when in reality there's only a few specific things which directly impact the conversion rates the number one thing on my list which I personally believe impacts the conversion rate the most is the overall website layout what what I mean by this is how is your website laid out, what kind of theme you are using, where you have placed each specific menu button, what the footer menu contains, etc. All of these things and basically how your website looks in general really impacts the conversion rate the most. Because let's face it, if you have a really bad website which is really spammy with multiple different colors, multiple different trust badges and multiple different pop-ups, that website is just really not going to work period no matter how much money you spend on ads. And you want to kind of think of the website layout as the overall Overall foundation now I've already made videos on how to do the proper layout whether you're running a general store or a niche store you can watch those videos on my channel I'm not really gonna go into that here but one of the most important things that you really need to have in place is the website layout because conversion rates are directly impacted by the layout in fact a good layout could mean conversion rates of three percent or above and a bad layout could mean conversion rates of half a percent or even less and all of the other things i'm about to mention won't even matter in that case if you just have a bad website layout in general so before you do any of these other things make sure number one which is website layout is properly done but that brings me to the next point which is website speed now in 2020 and onwards nobody really likes waiting anymore in fact the average attention span is around two seconds or three seconds so keep Keeping that in mind, it's really important that you focus on building a fast and efficient website which can work despite having multiple apps that you have on your store, despite having all of the things going on on your website. Because as of right now, having a load speed for your website above 3 seconds, 4 seconds could mean between having a very, very successful dropshipping store and having a mediocre or even an unprofitable dropshipping store. Literally, you could have everything else in place, but if your website is not loading fast enough, people will lose interest and they will exit out. And especially if you're drop shipping, you have to understand whatever product you are selling, it's not really that hard to find somewhere else on somebody else's website. So website layout speed is really important there because if you lose their interest and they exit out, there's a very, very high chance that they will buy from your competition and you will end up with no money at all and no sale at all. And when it comes to website speed, I highly recommend that you maybe hire somebody from Fiverr, Upwork, etc. Also use those SEO image optimization apps, which kind of compress all of the images on your Shopify store to make your website faster and try to get that website load speed around three seconds. Anything below three seconds is amazing, but anything above and you really risk getting a very, very low conversion rate and that could lead you to be very, very unprofitable. 
But in the end, you want to understand that product is king, which is the third point on this list. With a bad product, you will not be getting sales, period, no matter what kind of website layout you have, no matter how fast your website is. And that's simply because these people that are coming onto your website from Facebook, Google, wherever you're advertising, they're coming onto your website because they're interested in a product that you're selling, not because you have a cool website layout or not because you have a very, very fast website. So keeping that in mind, be sure to always find those products which match the specific criteria for your given advertising platform. So if you want to sell something on Facebook, make sure the product is quirky, make sure there's not too much competition, make sure your video ad is good, etc. And if you want to sell something on Google, make sure that your SEO for the description is on point because those things really matter a lot when it comes to the specific product. But in addition, you just want to understand one thing, and this is kind of a natural law when it comes to e-commerce, and that is if you're selling high ticket products, you can generally expect low conversion rates. If you're selling low ticket products, you can generally expect high conversion rates. And I have personal experience with this because because I used to run a niche store where I was selling a main winning product, which was around 20 to $25 and conversion rates would be through the roof anywhere from 4% to 7% but I started a brand new general store. I found a few winning products, which were high ticket. And suddenly I was getting half a percent to 1% conversion rates. And in the beginning, this was kind of weird to me, but I slowly began to realize that just because the price is so high, people are taking longer than usual to buy from my website. People aren't buying on their first visit. Maybe they're coming back to because of retargeting, etc. And because of this, my conversion rate was generally lower for that general store. So this is kind of just, again, a natural law of e-commerce. You really can't can't fight this of course you can do your best by having all of these other things in place but other than that you just want to kind of make sure that the product is on point and it matches the given advertising platform where you want to sell that product on but that brings me to my last point which is the advertising platform itself now as I mentioned, product could make or break the conversion rate, but that's not the only thing that could make or break the conversion rate. The advertising platform you personally use could also determine the conversion rate as well. For example, when I used to heavily use Facebook ads, my conversion rate would be anywhere from 2% to 7%. When I shifted over to Google ads, it was on average around 1%. And there's a very, very good reason as to why this happens. Number one, you want to understand that Google ads is a search based platform. When somebody types in, for example, wireless print, printer they're really not sure what kind of printer they want. They're typing that in to do research into what's available in the market. And if your advertising happens to come up for that keyword and the specific customer decides to click on your ad, that really does not mean that they're going there to buy from you because they're most likely in the research phase. They're going to be looking at and clicking on other competitors as well, which is why it's a much lower conversion rate for Google ads compared to the other platforms. So if you kind of face this with Google ads or Facebook ads or just any other advertising platform in general, kind of understand whether it's your website or the product or just the advertising platform that you're using, which is the reason for this, because that could save you a lot of headache and that could save you a lot of unnecessary changes on your website, which could later on actually make things worse for you. But now that we've kind of gone over exactly what specific things directly impact conversion rates, let's go ahead and go on over the specific strategies which I have to battle this. So number one strategy is you want to have a logo on your checkout page with the payment trust badge. Now, what do I mean by this exactly? Well, I have an example image over here for you guys, and this is exactly what I mean. So when a person is checking out on the Shopify checkout page, usually at the top, it will show your store's logo. What you want to do is you want to edit that specific logo. You can do this on Canva or Photoshop, wherever you want to do it. Basically create a rectangle. Maybe you can do 1800 by 1600 pixels. And on the left side, put your logo. And on the right side, put a payment trust badge. And then once you have done that, go ahead and upload this brand new logo onto your checkout page, because what's now going to be shown to your customers is this specific image right here. Basically, they will see your store's logo, but they'll also see this trust badge. I've personally just recently come upon this strategy, and I found that it definitely increased my conversion rate significantly. And the main reason why this increases the conversion is because we're not putting the trust badge under the add to cart button like you would normally do on your product page. Instead, we're basically providing them additional reasons to trust us directly on the checkout page, which is the last page they will usually visit before purchasing something. So if they see these trust badges on the checkout page, they're much more likely to continue on with their checkout and actually buy something from you. And this can positively impact your conversion rates directly. In fact, you should see an average increased conversion rate of about half a percent or even more, depending on what other changes you make on your website. But this is a number one hack that you want to do. And one specific hack, which a lot of hundred thousand dollar per month Shopify stores do as well. Let's move on to hack number two, and that is putting a specific 
piece of text under the price on the product page and this specific text is known as the you save x amount of dollars which is directly visible on again the product page so to give an example of what i mean by this i'm directly linking to one of the better e-commerce stores out there which is inspire uplift and if we go ahead and go on to one of their product pages we can see exactly what i mean so they have a very very clean product page as you guys can see they have the specific pricing and then the sale price but then if you notice below that it says you save and then 15 dollars and three cents and it also says 50 percent off I've personally seen that having this kind of text is really, really impactful and actually psychologically turns the customer on and makes them want to buy something from you because they psychologically believe that they're saving X amount of dollars and saving is something everybody wants to do. So this directly kind of helps them support their decision of buying something from you and it will make them two times more likely to continue on with their purchase. And Inspire Uplift does this really well because you want to have this specific piece of text right below the main price. And if you use a normal Shopify theme, meaning a free theme you can directly chat with shopify support and link them to this specific product page or just link them to inspire uplift and let them know you want to have something like this done on your website as well because inspire uplift is one of those specific shopify stores which does six figures to seven figures per month and if they do this that means this is really really helpful i've also done this myself in the past and i can definitely say that this is a very very cool optimization trick that you can do to increase your conversion rate but very easy to implement again just speak with shopify support directly and they'll help you with that but let's move on to trick number three and that is specifically having a google voice customer service phone number on your website now the days of just having an email or just a contact us form on your website are officially over because a lot of the drop shipping stores out there or just e-commerce stores in general are now providing customer service via phone number specifically and if you want to stay ahead of the game or just stay up to date with what everybody else is doing it is absolutely a must that you go and sign up for a google voice phone number number one because it's fully free and number two because people are going to be 10 times more likely to trust you when they come onto your website and if they see a phone number now I personally do offer this on my websites as well and one thing I do is I do not offer customer service via phone calls because I offer customer service via only text message I've saved a voicemail on my Google voice phone number which says that we basically do not offer customer service via phone calls and if they want customer service they can just simply text this message I've noticed that I do get a lot of text messages from my customers on a daily basis and because I'm able to connect with them on a daily basis and provide much faster service than just through emails they're more likely to buy from me again again and they're more likely to not open those chargebacks or disputes and again this is extremely easy to do because it does not really take up much of your time you can just set aside 30 minutes to an hour of your time to answer all of those specific text messages based on how many you're even getting in the first place but this definitely could improve your conversion rate significantly and it doesn't matter whether you use facebook ads or google ads definitely I recommend that you try this out for your own store but let's move on to hack number four and that is having a specific trust badge on the cart page now again going back to inspire uplift to show you guys what i mean by this exactly i've personally noticed that having a trust badge on the cart page just like inspire uplift does here has a much much greater impact than having this trust badge on the product page because one thing you want to understand is when they're on the product page they really don't care about the trust badge itself because they're not even sure whether they want to buy from you or not so when they commit to buying from you by clicking the add to cart button and they see this trust badge that's when it has the most impact because psychologically they're now ready to commit to buying from you and if they see some additional trust factors which can kind of alleviate their stress they're going to be more than likely to continue on with their purchase and again if you combine this with the earlier hack i mentioned which is having the trust badge on the checkout page as well you could experience up to a two percent increase in the conversion rates and again this is perfectly normal simply because we're making it easier for our customers to trust us and making it easier for them to go down our funnel one by one because remember every step of the funnel has a different reason so for example the product page you'll only win on the product page if the customer does Decide to press that add to cart button on the cart page you'll only win if they decide to press this proceed to checkout and then on the checkout page you'll only win if they actually decide to press the pay now button so in order to kind of make it easier for them to go down this funnel we want to have the trust badge on the cart page and also the checkout page as i mentioned earlier but let's move on to our final hack and that is playing around with the prizes now again going back to inspire uplift if we go in and go to the specific home page and just look at any specific products that they have we'll see that their pricing it's much 
much, much different than your average drop shipping or e-commerce store. If we look at their pricing, we see that it's $24.97, $39.97, $49.97, and so forth. Basically, all of their prices are ending with $97. Now, there's a very, very good reason why Inspire Uplift has done this, and that's simply because they want to stand out of the crowd. If you do a simple search on Google or just go on Facebook and look at the ads and then go on the product page, you'll notice that 99.9% .9 of dropshipping stores or just Shopify stores in general have prices that end in 95 or 99. And here it comes Inspire Uplift with their prices of 97. So no matter where they're advertising their products, they're 10 times more likely to just stand out of the crowd. And this is also going to help them increase their conversion rates because people find them attractive. And the main reason why they find them attractive is because they're different from everybody else. So that's how this specific hack is going to directly impact your conversion rate and improve it in the long run. But these are the specific five hacks you can actually start implementing today to increase your conversion rate and also implement strategies that specifically a $100,000 per month Shopify stores do. And this is also one of the reasons why they're successful. If you found any type of value in this video, smash that like button and smash that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time.